Well, hello, everyone. It is VGM Together Staff Spotlight. And uh, unfortunately, um, my dear friend and associate VGM staffer, uh, Texelsor, and I have um, planned a weekend of uh, adventure hey. with you here. But uh, instead, we found ourselves uh, trapped in a dungeon. Um, so we're kind of a cell apart here. But if you don't mind, maybe uh, giving a little introduction to the folks at home here. Help, I'm, I'm trapped in a cell. <laughs> you know, as, as one does on a Twitch stream. Um, Texel Sword, do you want to tell us about yourself? So I am a VR lead for VGM Together. And as you probably found out in uh, the previous panel, um, we got our start working uh, doing VR stuff to do a MAGFest event. Um, and then we sort of rope that into uh, the VGM Together event, which was really awesome. Yeah. All right. And I am Greg, uh, GP Lord on Discord, GP Lord Dev on Twitch. Um, I am VGM Together's uh, design lead, and I also uh, try to help Texelsor with all of his works of virtual genius. Um, maybe not so much a work of virtual genius on our part was getting trapped in a dungeon here uh, during our event. So... Unfortunately, we're going to need to ask those of you at home to maybe help us out a little. Um, now, you might be thinking, you know, how can I help you all solve a virtual dungeon? I'm here at home. To which I would say, yeah, rub it in. That's that's real nice. I'm glad you're enjoying your home. We're, we're stuck in a dungeon. So maybe, like, just give us an hour of your time and help us out just a little. That would be awesome. C Craig, what crimes did we commit? <clears throat> I, we shouldn't really talk about that on stream. I feel like that's... <laughs> Maybe let's we're, we're running a clean event here. So, yeah, um, we didn't do anything. So, you know, wrongfully imprisoned and all that. Um, but yes, if you could help us, uh, we're going to maybe just kind of look around at what we have here. And um, in the theme of our staff spotlight event, we have a, uh, a little structure for you here to help you sort of uh, keep the pace. So in proper Metal Gear style, we have a puzzle alert, folks. Puzzle alert. This is the, uh, the room you find yourself in. Uh, this is the VR chat world called Magnus Castle. Uh, we have a command in chat to give the proper uh, attributions here and give you a link so you can check it out and sort of see it if you want to get stuck here yourself, as any sane person would. Um, but, yeah, we have, uh, let's give it two and a half minutes here to uh, help us figure out a way out of this place. So uh, here's what we got to work with. Texel, sorry, do you want to sort of... Uh, give the lay of the land here uh well we're we're in a couple of cells unfortunately and uh they're pretty darn locked yeah and uh, we're not even together right now but no. hashtag together you mean um yeah you know it looks like uh they're yeah. not gonna let us die of boredom they gave us all recorders all right drum ultima says there's a thing on the lure use that Stop, wait. Oh, look at the hammer, everybody. All right, well, we've got to look at the hammer. Um, I'm going to assume this is the hammer, uh, even though it's on the lure. Um, so, yeah, it might be a flute. Uh, it might be a recorder, even. What do we think, chat? Um, got any suggestions? Suggestions. Everybody type in all caps, I guess. That would help. I would actually, I think that would be good. Uh, stop what we're doing and look at the hammer. Play Dute, says Bassoonify. Song uh, of Unlocking, says Beaver-esque. What note is, is Dute? Dute? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. If anybody knows what Dute is. Uh, how about we just try any old note? We've got a minute 15 on the clock here to figure this out. I don't know if you're hearing the notes from this far away, but um, Texelsor doing his best Dute here. His His duty. No, that's terrible. I didn't say that. Um, play the warp melody from Super Mario Brothers 3. Is why Danny music is amazing. That is a wonderful suggestion. Mario 3. Oh, all right. We've got, uh, yeah, a lot of people saying this too. All right. I love it. So, um, Dude, did Dude do anything for you? Dude, Dude did not do anything for me, unfortunately. You know, I can't I say I heard a Dude. Let's try this myself here. All right. We're going to. Oh. Oh, I hear something. We've got a, a kind of grumpy sounding guard off in the distance. Stop that racket, he says. 
Hmm, let's try that again. We like rackets. Rackets make us happy. Can you hear him, folks? He's real classy. See, keep Ooh. it classy, guard. So we're gonna use our eyes and our ears. You're a good pony. You're a good did pony. He, he did he just say he has a pony? All right, that is time on our puzzle alert, folks. Uh, what's what's the suggestion? What should we uh, what should we play? Sorry, Drum Ultima. I, you know, I can't control these guards. He has a pony, they said. A Pona song. song. There is no easy mode with the suggestion. Texel, do you want to give us your best? Oh, he is. He's way ahead of me. Oh, I oh, have oh, oh. played a Pona song. All right, damn. here we go. Let's switch cameras here. You got that live look updates. Like a pony. Not a pony. Confirmed not a pony, but we do have an interesting development here, folks. That's right. The power of video I game got... music and Epona's song in specific brought this um, <coughs> pony to our cell. Got a key. Texel Swore found a key. I didn't start singing that. All right. We're out. Oh, Chat, you did it. Pony. Oh my gosh. See, this is why with a little energy of uh, hashtag together kind of puzzle solving. Oh, and we can pet the dog too. Oh, you can't see me petting the dog. That's no fun. All right. Well, we're out of our cells, so we're off to a good start here. This is our good friend, the, the not pony, who just brought us a key. All right. Thanks, Chat. Doing good. Doing good. You can pet the dog. Confirmed. Best feature. Any game. Uh, all right, what do we do? Should we explore? I think we should explore. Make the dog play the warp melody. Awesome. Pet dog is, yes, we're way ahead of you there. Oh. This is our, uh, our good friend here. Let's get a camera yeah, on this like guy. like he's having a very good night. Any thoughts on this, uh, fine fellow? This is our, our friend, the classy gentleman. Obvious exits are north, south, and Dennis. All right. Yes. <laughs> we will definitely try and use our best uh, sort of mud, moo, text adventure advice here for sure. Um, all right. Obvious exits uh, for real are this away. So let's, uh, oh, let's get our puzzle alert off the screen because we, we know what we're doing. All right. So uh, what do we have? Here is uh, the room we find ourselves in. Got kind of a double staircase thing going. We've got what looks like a map. What do we think? Let's get in on this. We got here. something moving around. Hmm. We got something that, that moves with us. All right, so green is us because it moves when we move. All right, I think we need to go. Uh, Look, let's <laughs> see. This is going to be There's some uh, fine text adventure chat here, there. and I love it. Ooh, all right. We've got our first clue, folks. What is that? It is a doorway with a red label Fortitude. All right. For the folks playing at home, if you could remember for us that there is a doorway called Fortitude, I mean, we might just forget, so that would be super helpful. All right. There's a back staircase over here. Back staircase. Ooh, all right. And that must be I think the way. we can go check out Fortitude. Up to Fortitude. Yeah, let's check that mm. out. Fortitude looks uh, a little bit mega locked. Not just regular locked. Um, so, yeah. This might be one of those um, remember and come back to kind of things. Dortitude, indeed. Waza has the, has the correct of it. All right. So, if we could uh, progress in the one way that seems available to us. So, our little adventure through Magnus Castle here is not in any way meant to be uh, something that informs the world about the goodness that is VR chat and or the interactive VR offerings of events like, say, VGM together. So, um, you know, we're not telling you what to do. But um, now this is interesting. This guy has a purple glowing face, which, you know, I'm not gonna say is the most usual thing to see on a 
fully plate mailed guard. Um, we need to watch out for that dude. That's my official advice. All right, so where to? I say follow the lizard. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah, it is. Chat, uh, any any suggestions? We will uh, we'll be keeping an eye out. So if you've got a path that you're like, yeah, that's the one, let us know. Oh, now here we go. Oh, no. All right, I'm hiding from this dude. All right, we're going to peek around the corner here in our best, like, metal gear. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, so um, that happened. So, yeah, that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that was the red dot on our um, stream. So uh, if perhaps we could give that gentleman a name, um, we want to avoid him. And we would love for the, the chat to help us avoid him. Know thy enemy and all. Um, we need that guy to have a name. So accepting your best votes. Oh, God, he's there. He's still there. Uh -oh. Look at this. He's still there. He's still there. No, he left. He left for you. Oh, God, I'm going to get killed again. You're seeing it here. You're seeing it here. Oh, all right, he gave up. Cancel alert mode. It's going to be all Metal Gear puns. All right. So, well, what's what's his name? All right, Barney is one. Metal Gear is a hard game. It happens. I'm Thanks, going this Danny. way. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm going to follow our lizard. For no! Oh, Barney got me. Barney, yes. We've got right, two we, votes we for Barney. Multiple times already. Multiple times. We're really good at this, is what you should be taking from all of this. Um, I'm going to go into our fancy third person mode because we're playing this like a proper uh, Vidya game here now. All right. So, Barney, as we'll tentatively call him, is uh, safely away. We seem to have made it past him. We seem to have uh, a couple of hallways available to us, so I'll go back to our little first-person view and show them to you. We have a side hallway, which I'm going to call locked with a gate. We have... Oh, no! <coughs> going to solid snake our way through this here. Yeah. How rude. Come on, Barney. What's his name? Uh, Pat Roll. I don't know. Poll time, yeah. Bruno has our back and is going to properly poll because this should be, you know, a collaborative effort. But I've lost my lizard. Where? Where is my lizard companion? There he is. All right. Speaking of rude, I heard that uh, the director's panel got invaded by a couple of fish creatures. <sighs> you know, you can't run a stream anymore without these fish creatures just coming and, I don't know, really getting in the way. And they flap. Have you seen these flaps they do? The mouth flap? It's weird. Um, anyway. All right. So we've got a hallway up. We've got a hallway left. And so far, it seems like that was maybe two of our three with the one behind us as the third. Votes. Where to, chat? <laughs> Trauma dumping skills. Little rainbowy one was pretty normal, though. Up. All right, there is no up. easy mode says <laughs> up. I'm trying. Um, I like up. I can't go that up is the problem. Always go left. Oh, we've got the puzzle solving algorithm at work here. I like go left. Shall we go left? I swear if Texel got, no, oh, okay. I mean, we get Barneyed or whatever his name is going to be fairly often so far. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go back to our little traversal cam because we're professionals. We here. have another named doorway. All right, another door. And it's Dear locked. Prudence. Yep, this one is also Which means mega you locked. have led us to a dead end, at least temporarily. Yeah, that just means several more left turns until eventually, you know, you figure out. So, all right, back the way we came because there's no other options just yet. All right. We are 15 minutes into our dungeon escape. Just kind of call in time as we go. All right, we're going to turn left. By the power of left turns, we go up a very, very large staircase here. We're following the lizard, as all people should. Okay, here we go. Big door. And VR chat lets us interact with it, because it's neat. All right, big ladder. So we're going to go up the big ladder here. And we're going to do it very quickly, because, you know, we're good at that. All right. 
Are you, you feeling hungry? I'm a little peckish, yes. Do you have any suggestions? That looks delicious. Hmm. There's a whole roast pig here. Roast pig. Oh, boy. That is a very roast pig. Uh, all right. All as long as guard is rude, VR is cool. And so you. Dear Prudence. <laughs> yes. All right. We've got Dear Prudence in the chat. <laughs> Can't say I hoped that would happen, but I definitely hoped that would happen. Oh, here's my hat. Ready? Ready? Here, I got to switch cameras. Uh, this is actual amazing hat cam. Oops. Yep, there it is. This is what you came for. The magic of VR chat. My head is a pumpkin. Your argument is invalid. All right, so we've got ourselves a kitchen here. Well stocked. Lots of food items. Lots of uh, weird gooey substances in cauldrons or vats or barrels. So... Don't see anything super, you know, call into me just yet, but let's keep looking. See what we see. We're into Are sort these of Barneys? The castle proper. Oh, this is Barney minus all the, like, purple face, like, cantankerousness. I'm thinking purple's pretty bad news here. Uh, bad news, bad news seems right. One dungeon in Twilight Princess. Oh, uh, yeah, when the pumpkin fell away. That's that's my best, like, I just had a pumpkin for a head face. Oh, this is a fancy room. Oh, all right. We have hit something fairly interesting here, I'm going to say. All right. Now, here is the question that eventually in our lives we all must ask ourselves. So in proper game show mode, we're going to go into our uh, little segment we call... Are you smarter than a lizard? That's right, folks. We've got our own lizard here. This is Texelsaur VR lead for VGM Together, the lizard himself. And he is about to, with 49 seconds on the clock, explore this room. And you have to call out anything that you see before he finds the thing for us to uh, keep us rolling. So if you see any interesting sort of interactables, call them out. I will watch the chat and we will try it. Pick up everything and use it with every other object. That is the approach. Uh, let's see. More purple is right. Yep. We're we're primed to look for purples. Let's know if you see anything. We've got what looks like Lady Justice herself here, also similarly purple. We've got maybe a weapons rack. We've got. Let's see. Let me know if there's anything that you want to you know interact with. Smash the statue seems like a good suggestion. We want to try smashing the statue. Waza smash. <laughs> of course, that's Waza's answer. Pat Roll's face. Yes, Pat Roll. Key. Oh, Beaver esque spotted something. Uh, lizard on the clock. That's right. It's time. Beaver esque, I believe, beat our lizard in finding what looks like a key. A key. All right, what do we know about this key? We know one thing about this key, and that is that we found it here uh, beside the purple glowy Lady Justice herself. So that's what we've got to work with. All right, uh, got a key. I guess we hold on to it. Do we want to keep looking? Do we want to keep sort of exploring? Let us know. Beaver S, good job indeed. Amazing. All right. I say we keep exploring. We've got ourselves a key. We've got to figure out, you know, what to unlock with it. So, well, cinematography. What I learned from uh, Gree is we should just keep going up. See, and thanks to the amazing Waza the Walrus, we had ourselves a narrative game club panel not two hours ago where we played that amazing game and learned a lot about ourselves, narrative game structures in games, and hopefully, how to apply all of that to escaping from a haunted castle. Thank you, Waza. Um, all right, so onward and upward. Here's what we've got. We've got a second floor with what looks like a door, which we're just gonna try, because that's what we do. Nope, non-interactive door, disappoint. We've got two more doors. We're gonna try those as well. Confirmed non-interactive dead-end hallway. 
But don't worry, because our lizard companion has gone another way that looks promising. There is likely a door marked justice, says Beaveresque. Let's see. We learn, but I think the statue might be modeled to crumble. True. If you take the key <laughs> and put it in that nasty black goo, it might give you a key tar. <laughs> oh, I don't love puns. Yes, I do. Okay. It does not simply interact with Mordor. True. So we've got, you know, we've got to interact with what we've got here. All right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna go back into our favorite game show segment here. We've got to beat the lizard one more time. So let's put three or no one minute back on the clock. And are you smarter than a lizard? All right, we got a room to investigate. Let us know what you find. Interactive. That's what we're looking for. More purple. Beaver esque. All right. True. More purple. So let's take a look. I'm not, you know, an interior decorator, but I do think as tables go, this is unusual. Um, I'm not saying bad. I mean, if this is your table style, that's awesome. Uh, I, I have, you know, not great furniture myself, so I don't really have like purple glowy uh, skills to speak from. Okay. Got 20 seconds. Let us know what you find. Interactives. Smash table. I like smash table. Anything else? We've got bunk beds. We've got ladders. We've got purple glowy scales. Tex was the bad guy all along. That's, yeah, I'm going to get eaten by a giant lizard. Bruno spots a key right at lizard on the clock. I actually wasn't watching, but we're going to say Bruno beat the lizard. All right. Bruno has spotted a key. Now, the little known thing about Texelsaur's species is that it is not just a humanoid lizard. It is also a pack mule, <laughs> which is to say those of us that are holding cameras and or streaming maybe are not super useful with conveying objects. So thank you to I'm the... I'm feeling a little weighed down by your success right now. Oh, that's true. All right. We got to find some spots to put all this. All right. So we've got two keys, two uh, viable hands for carrying stuff. Um, mine holding cameras and all that. So let's find some see, locks. Did we see anything we could do with these keys? Chat says, oh, Bruno is smart. Reptilian key <laughs> ring. <laughs> this is feverous. <laughs> oh, all right. Get the key on the chest. Yes, Danny spotted it as well. Key. Lots of people spotted the key. So you are all smarter than lizards. Um, no offense to the lizard. I want to say at this moment that are you smarter than a lizard was Texelsaur's own suggestion. And while I delighted in making that graphic, um, that is not me trying to say anything about his super genius that should not be questioned. All right. So we've got two keys, one of them obtained from Lady Justice, one of them obtained from a table that seemed uh, ready for food and drink. What do we think? Anything we want to try those keys on? Hmm. I'm going to go back to our second person mode because we don't like making people motion sick. Um, chat says, anything on the chair? Good question. Let's check the chair. The chair appears empty, but we'll show you the chair. Nothing on the chair. It is purple and glowy, much like our new found fashion sense or interior decorating sense. Next to it, though, we do have a piece of paper parchment maybe with a little throne icon on it and it's purple and glowy so we're gonna do what we do and see if it's interactive but it is not the chair itself has a use oh no that's me stealing the key from Texel. we're not gonna do that the chair itself is not interactive so no those are not apparently our ways forward all right sit in the throne what could go wrong you definitely won't become purple and evil I the mean, chair has not yet turned me into a lizard king. No. He's he's a lizard king for other reasons. He didn't need purple evil magic. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's not evil. Okay. Uh, Bryce uh, was suggesting the chair sit. So, Bryce, we've got to figure another, another way out. That did not seem to be the path. But I like it. So we're going to keep trying for more stuff like that. All right. We are at... 
25 minutes in our in our 50 minute journey so we're halfway there but we've got two keys so i'm feeling good about that i seem to remember we saw some locked doors locked doors right uh any suggestions about doors to try uh, I believe their names so far were, what? Fortitude? What was the other one? And Prudence. Prudence. Garlic. <laughs> yes, two garlics in chat. Have you tried making a keytar yet? Yeah, we got to try the keytar thing. That's just good watching. Oh, no. Oh. I can't dip the key into the tar. So this world is powered by a little-known magic called 3D Model Colliders, which the key cannot seem to penetrate. Even the magic of a keytar seems to have its limits, which surprises us all, I know. All right, so we're going to go back the way we came because we seem to have run out of other ways. Oh, but wait, we didn't. There are stairs down. Let's remember that. Stairs down at the top of this ladder. Strange interior architecture, but you know, it's not for us to say. All right, back to our little walking around, Kim. Okay, so find ourselves back in the halls of Magnus Castle. Approaching, oh, uh, what was uh, our, our guard's final name here? We, we are going to need that information, probably. Don't get barneyed by Pat. It seems we might have arrived at two names, but I'm, I'm getting that from context here more than as full confirmation. Uh, all right, so we're following the lizard. That's what we do. It's words to live by. It's not just me. Um, prudence. We arrive back at Prudence. We have a locked gate. All right. I have two keys. Do you remember which key and was, was? None of the in? keys work. Uh, no prudence. Very smart. All right. That's not that prudent. It's not that uh, fortitudinal either. Is that a word? I'm gonna say that's a word. Do we know another one? Another one. Well, we had one more hallway we could try, right? Pat Barney, the trash compactor roll. This is canon. All right. So uh, Pat Barney, the trash compactor roll is uh, on the Pat Barney, the trash compactor patrol. And um, we don't we don't want to get Pat Barney, the trash con uh, compactor rolled again. So we're not going to do that. That's not easy to say. I Did we ever go down here? I'm really trying for you all. Um, we didn't go down here, but we, we should. We definitely should. All right. I like going down. Going down. Stairs are cool. I can, a lot of stairs here. I can get down with that. <clears throat> yeah. Um, hey. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. That's all I needed. Um, oh, and now we're going up again. All right. Who built a castle like this? <laughs> Part of what we're here for today is instructional lessons in how to build your castle when the time comes. And the, the big down curvy stairs leading immediately to the big up curvy stairs, I'm going to say is maybe not the one that we would have expected, at least. No criticism, just saying. All right, so here we go. We have arrived at another door. This one, in big red letters, says justice. What do we think? Going for a, bar a Pat Barney the Trash Compactor stroll. You must have missed the secret doorway at the bottom. Door! Who built this castle? Dracula says there is no easy mode. Yes. If there's a big upside down bit at the end, then you know it was Dracula. All right. Justice. Yes, it was called correctly by our compatriots helping us from home. The Justice Key, which, if we remember where we found that, was next Open to... Open the Justice Door. Lady Justice herself. Purple and glowing though she was. Still feeling the whole, like helpful door uh, contribution energy when we like that Brought we us to some more stairs all right more stairs and hmm. oh boy all right what's this here we go uh all right we have ourselves a situation there uh helpers at home we have a periodic table of the chemical elements now this appears to be to a, a lay VGMT highly in here, if that's what I am. Uh, the real periodic table and a bunch of bottles of a bunch of chemicals. So let's see, chemical elements rather. Um, 
we need to... All right, I don't know that this comes through on the stream, but when we, here in the castle, hover over it, we get a little pop-up that says, all elements must be in balance. So we're going to need some help figuring that out. Um, drink all of them. <laughs> and we died. Uh, quick, drink random sounds like chemicals. we've stumbled onto a puzzle. Uh, sounds like we have. All right, you know what? We're going to put... Uh, a puzzle alert out to the to, out to the world. Can you all give us a um, assembly of these two elements with their um, numbers here that would balance these two out? Uh, I, I'm gonna say it. I you know I think this is maybe spreadsheet time, which is a critical element to any good Twitch stream. <laughs> So uh, let us know what you think. Uh, here's here's what we have to work with. We have, um, you know, I should start the puzzle. Can, can I nominate right. Bruno to solve this? Yeah, this is a Bruno all over, right? Bruno, where's Professor Layton when you need him? <laughs> all right, we've got a triple walrus emote from Waza here. That's already making me feel uh, relieved. I think we've got the power of walrus. So we've got, these are our elements. Uh, C-L-A-L-N-K-B-E-N-A. V, B, and C, U. Um, and I'll see you in a <laughs> spreadsheet where maybe people can help us um, balance this. So, uh, we're halfway through our time, a little more then. So, what is happening with my camera? Oh dear. That's not the way. Sorry, that was probably nauseating. Okay, we're back, folks. Uh,. All right, for real though, this is this is what we need to do. I'm going to start the timer over, um, but the timer is to take these elements, which I'm going to leave my camera there so that you can see what they are, and we need uh, an arrangement of these that will actually balance out. And what are the parameters? Like, why couldn't we just do all of them on both? Okay. That was Texel well, trying. Now it's out of balance. I don't know if that's going to end the world or not. Out of balance. That was. Maybe, maybe you should hurry up and, and get this fixed, or, mm -hmm. or it, it may end quite poorly. It may. Give us another 10 minutes. Uh, the atomic weights. All right. Um, yes, these are the real. We actually need atomic weights, is correct. Spell out bad <laughs> words as well. I like all of them on both. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. Um, Uh, Anubis has judged our hearts and found it wanting. True. Um, now, with a mere 36 seconds on the clock, I don't know if we're going to get this answer from our chat at home, but um, perhaps we could, we could hope for that and see how it goes. And um, we're not at all going to discreetly open a notepad document here that, um, you know, contains any, any one thing or another. That's not what we would do. As Texel Can we at least speak. admire the alphabet they used to label all this? I mean, it's, it's pretty, I'll give it that. All right, uh, let's check what chat said. One final time, we've got some suggestions here. Uh, Bardic Knowledge is, is dropping the atomic weights in chat. CL17, AL13, N7. Uh, Bardic Knowledge says again, uh, K is 19, BE is 4, and NA is 11. I, I'm doing quick math in my head to see if that adds up. That would be 34 on the second round of suggestions and 37 on the first round. Aren't they the same elements on both sides? There are. I actually am going to admit I don't remember what the parameters here are. Texel, can you? We cannot reuse the same elements. Cannot on reuse side. the same elements. That was probably critical information here. Um, all right. We're we're at go on our timer here. So in the interest of seeing more of this castle, how about we just um, tap into the divine knowledge of the notepad document and keep this thing a rolling? What do you say? All right. We have. Oh, somebody got it. What? All right. What what what's our solution? Oh, okay. I got it. Says Danny Music. I. Oh man. Uh, no, I really want to let this play out. Okay. 
V. K. Oh, you're watching All right, too. we got V. We got K. Uh, K. C. O. Mm -hmm. You can read them off for me. Oh, sorry. Um, V, and then K, and then C. Oh, C L, and then B on one side. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, on the other side, uh, Danny Music says B E, A L, C U. N A and N is the last one. Oh and my dear sweet Texel Sore. Danny Music, like confirmed rewarded. hero. We knew that already. But here we are seeing it in a whole new way. Alright. Are we in Skyrim now? We <laughs> we have leapt into Skyrim, which means we will soon find a portal into Blackreach, or a cave that leads there, rather. Alright. Now one point uh, to remember here. I, I'm genuinely impressed with that. I really, I don't even know what to say. I'll, I'll hype that up when we have uh, spare time to, to do so appropriately, because right now I'm just kind of like speechless. All right, that was that locked gate that we found earlier, as in the path to the right off of where Pat Barney trash compactor roll was coming from. Speaking of whom, this guy, I swear. He's right. scary, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna try and fight him. Now, all right, let's recap while we <laughs> run away shamelessly from Pat Barney trash compactor roll. Hey, we got away. Um, that key came from uh, Lady Justice that unlocked a door called Justice. And now we have a sword from puzzling, uh, puzzle solving that whole little segment. What do? Oh. Oh, wait. What have we stumbled upon? A mirror. How are you supposed to solve that within a VR helmet without taking it off? LOL is correct. <laughs> you definitely don't uh, briefly take off your uh, headset and sit down with a spreadsheet, because who would do that? All right, uh, Texelsaur found a mirror. Hello, folks. Uh, look at him with his sword. That's some mighty looking like Argonian magic there. Um, and a doorway called Temperance. Now we have oh, one well, key. Oh, here's out the door. There's a mirror here. True. Yeah. I mean, all right. Rule of VR chat worlds for anyone that is not familiar. If your world does not have a mirror in which to admire oneself and one's avatar, uh, you're really just not finished building your world yet. So, all right. Key in hand. Door. Oh, I got a key. Do you think it fits? Oh, got to try. Good Argonian Lord. Look at that. All right. We have made it into yet another room. This one, Temperance. This one's full of treasure. All right, so for anyone uh, playing along, that was the key that came from the table with all of the wine bottles on it and the door labeled Temperance. All right, I think you're supposed to use the chart on the wall. Be good at mental math. There's a periodic table behind the scales that had atomic weights on it, it's true. You can do it all in your head. Um, I'm not sure I could do it all in my head, but yes, I do think one could actually solve that without resorting to a spreadsheet. All right, room with candles and uh, treasure chests. We are at 38 minutes into our journey, so I think uh, this might just be another puzzle timer on the clock here, which I don't at all keep forgetting to go back to the main scene from. All right, ready, puzzle timer. Here's what we got. We have chests. We have little candelabras. We have uh, different lit patterns on these, if you're seeing that. And we have skulls on the wall behind them. Does that sound right to you? And we've got a lit candle here. Does that seem about right? Yeah. Okay. Close all the boxes. All right. Avoid boxes until we have to. Restrain yourselves, indeed. Um, close all the boxes. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Touch nothing but the. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> we've got. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's I try. Touch the lamp. Okay. I seem to still be safe. Right. Now, I'm going to pass along an important bit of information here. You all seem to be seeing through the magic lens of truth that is my camera that these candles are lit. 
I will say that does not line up with our in-person experience. So it might be that indeed one element of this puzzle is you need to look through a camera to see what is lit and what is not. So for instance, this in person looks like just unlit candles. Through the lens of truth and the power of the internet and me knocking uh -oh. it over and starting, this is how castle fires start. Do you want a castle fire? Um, that's we all run around with our, our big swords, knocking over the candles and burning the place down. All right. Danny Music suggests light the candles in a way that matches the skulls. Use the small candle to light up the center candlestick like the other, says Bruno. Uh, okay. Nick's Mad Science. This is a 100% touch nothing but the lamp scenario. All right. So all right, those I sound like all good suggestions. I light the center candelabra. Okay. Um, Only chat can prevent <laughs> castle fires. <laughs> All right. I, I don't, I don't seem to be able to change what's lit on right. each of the candelabras. Okay, so then that brings us to what Danny Music suggested, which is that we perhaps use the already lit patterns to match the skulls. So let's try that. All right. Well. All right. So what do I got here? Where should this go? We've got one that every single candle is lit. These are in kind of an X configuration with like an inner square and an outer square, and one in the center. And we've got skull patterns here. Um, let us know if you see one that looks promising to you all. Move the candelabras. Danny's got it, says Beaveresque. I like that suggestion too. All right. We're going to let chat uh, call this out. And that is go time on the puzzle alert. But we have suggestions. That, that was a go. So let's remember to uh, turn that off because that's what we do. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see if their suggestion uh, plays out. Okay. Um, Bard acknowledge chiming in with a there, and given the uh, lag between us and chat, that would be the one. So now yes. I got another candelabra. Okay. So Texelsor has placed the one that matched that, and is now holding one that has the inner and the outer corners lit. So let's find one of those. Uh, I'm liking this one for that. Yeah. Inner and outer? Yep. As in there's or is a it center. Oh, did I have that wrong? Um, yeah, sorry, the center one and the outer ones. Yeah, that's that's uh, the correct way to say that. Right. Okay, so we've swapped that. Now we have just the inner square, but not the center. Um, so let's see what we have here. Uh, I'm liking this one over here. That's an empty pedestal. The okay, the X so uh, with the nine is where that goes. Danny Music got that as well. Inner, what outer, and center, says Bryce. That was that one, yep. Mismatched. Uh, candelabras do we see? <laughs> we should let Nick's dog solve this puzzle. He's a candle labrador. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Thank you. I, I needed that. Um, trapped in a dungeon, you know. It's, it's the, the humor that gets you through. Does this one match? Uh, that is... I can't actually see very well from here. Let's jump. Okay, everything but the center one is that one. Everything but the center. Accurate. Confirmed from Nick's Mad Science. It is a candelabrador. Candelabrador? I don't oh. know. I just bashed that one right off the pedestal. Right. Okay. Is that how you solve the puzzles? Probably. Where should this one go? Outer candles. So outer. only the outer candles, as in... All right, well, that probably goes here. Okay. And now I got another one. Oh. Yes. So while Thank we're you. doing this here, because Texelsor seems to have got it, some context for you. VRChat, uh, if you have not already joined us in VRChat, is free. It is a uh, not just VR, but also a desktop PC application available on Steam. Uh, what you are seeing here is not some like professional game. It is a world made by people just like us. This is part of what Texelsor and I do, is make worlds that are not maybe this style, but like... Uh, this is sort of like an escape room-esque kind of world. Um, you are seeing more of the creative power here, which is to say Texelsor's avatar, my uh, little modified link here with, um, you know, the obvious coolest video game music event going on um, logo. All of this is kind of how, um, sorry, kind of how it works. Like, we can make whatever we want in VR chat, and it's sort of a like a wild west of just creative people doing creative things. So get in if you haven't already. Um, we do events here. Our after party this very evening will be both on Twitch and in our own world, Pose Nightclub. 
um, which is sort of a nightclub dance party, more or less styled after the real Pose nightclub in the Gaylord National Magfest uh, friends that several of us are. Uh, yeah, and check it out. So we're close on our time here, but let's wrap this one up for sure. We now have a lit candle, as in we always saw it lit through the lens of truth. Texelsor did not, so now it's lit. All the candles. And everything lit, lit up. Except the ones in the center. It is a candle party in here. All right. Uh, suggestions? Chat. Let's uh, let's catch up here. Permissions issue on that link. Um, I didn't read that. Uh, links VGMT drip. Thank you. Uh, we can <laughs> All right, uh, give us give us your suggestions here. Um, and to that earlier question, I did sort of allude to it being a little bit of a wild west, the creative power of uh, VR chat. All right, uh, it is lit. <laughs> Hello, spooky bun. Um, let's see, family, indeed. Uh, suggestions for this little uh, predicament. We've got a candle, we've got a Five up candelabra here, and yet not a single one of them lit. Eat the candles. Waza is on top of this. All right, try it. Oh, oh no! <laughs> That's what you want. That's definitely fine. No, this is fine. Um, we had. I'm not going to call it a setback because that's pessimist talk. Uh, we had an unexpected turn of events, uh, an opportunity to grow. <laughs> Um, and yeah, oh no, says Beaver. Uh, <laughs> Empathy so, uh, pervades the chat. Second candle was not very good. No second candles. Uh, let's just do this numerically. Uh, let's try the fourth candle. That one lit. Ooh, look at prescient lizard man here. Fourth candle uh, it was. First candle? That seemed bad. I was not expecting a jump scare. I will say, in the in the style of VR chat worlds, there are a few that are jump scary. Um, this not being one of the worst by any means, but um, we liked this. Oh, no. oh that's fine. Um, all right. So we had four, one. Ooh, five didn't immolate us. Four, one. What was it? Five, oh, I two, got them, I got them three. all lit. Hey! Look at that. It's like we and almost know what we're doing. Pack mule. What did we come? find? Uh, all right. That looks like the cup of a carpenter. Um, all right, let's do this thing. We have a minute to return one of these, maybe. Okay, a minute to return these things. Yes, we are at 47 minutes on our clock, so... Uh, treasure, indeed. I am deceased. As long as we don't get shanked by Barney. <laughs> Come on, Barney. Just let us go. It's the Holy Grail system. Goblet isn't very temperancy. That's true. Uh, <laughs> maybe, you know, as a symbol more than as an uh, instance of temperance itself. But I don't know. I didn't make this world. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got a ladder. And we've already lost our lizard. Did you go up the ladder? I went up the ladder. Lizard went up the ladder. All right. I'm in the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen is down, isn't it? Nope, it's up. The kitchen's up. That's what I meant. We knew that. The kitchen's up. You've already gotten lost in your own castle. <laughs> <laughs> we are on top of the Indiana jokes today for you. Indiana jokes? I didn't even mean to say that. All right. Um, Indiana Jones jokes was what I failed to say. All right. <clears throat> I think we should pay one last visit to Our Lady Justice. Yes, before we get lost in our own museum. Lady Justice, could you perhaps give us at least the sense of the structure of this here world as we bring a sword to you? Lady Justice says... Oh, let's go back to our first person camera. Shall we? Do we give Lady Justice the sword obtained from the first puzzle we solved? Or the goblet obtained from the second puzzle we solved belongs in a museum. Are you meaning to announce? Oh. Uh. He doesn't seem to, to want the, the, the goblet. Hmm. No goblet. But she did take the sword. Hey! She is cured. Nick's Mad Science is keeping us on track here time-wise. Now, that was just me making sure I didn't uh, run us out of time by utterly losing track of time, which might be a thing I do, but thank you. 
Uh, it belongs in a museum, says Feverus. Give sword. All right, that was the official text adventure way to give the sword, which I approve of. Text will smash, and we've de-perped her, which, you know, I can't say that purple glowy effect looked comfortable, so I hope is a good thing. And uh, on that accomplishment, I think we've reached the end of our adventure for today. I believe we have, but how would we know? I mean, perhaps um, maybe we would be looking for some kind of a a sign of some sort that like you know we've we've accomplished what we set out to do as i failed to grab my own camera <clears throat> so uh let's look around to see if we can't find anything like that um oh wait <clears throat> oh look at that that's the definitely real victory screen Congratulations, you have totally finished the VR chat thing, hashtag together, and this is definitely the real victory screen. And you definitely didn't run out of time. Great job, wow! And look, it's, it must be official because it has the VGM together logo on it and like a little the more you know style star, which I mean, that's what I look for in an official announcement. Um, definitely ran, didn't run out of time is what I meant to say. Um, so I think we did it. I think we solved this world. And if perhaps, you know, there was more that one could do in the future, I would say it would be delightful to figure out a time and a way to join you all again in the future for more VR chat shenanigans. But in the meantime, we will Thank wrap it up all, there. Twitch. Thank you, Twitch, for solving our puzzles, for uh, giving us moral support. Thank you, VGM Together, for giving us the chance to hang out here. Uh, not just our event, but all of these events, to get a chance to sort of talk directly to everybody that's involved, to sort of thank the other staff members for everything they do for us, and to give you a chance to sort of see some of the little virtual corners of the internet that we inhabit and try to make content for and try to use to sort of make events like these even more community, even more interactive, and all of that good stuff. And come hang out with us at Post Nightclub tonight. Tonight, after party, on the schedule, check it out. Not just on Twitch, but Poe's Nightclub, our little nightclub world, and the unofficial hangout of VGM Together staff for after parties and whatever. So, see you there. Thank you all very much. Woo! What's nice is we're definitely off camera, so we can get back to talking about our world domination plans and know that we have full privacy and not anything that we need to worry about. Um, <laughs>